Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So today I have my update for my Harry Potter project pan. So this is a project pan I, ins I started that is inspired by the world of Harry Potter. So I have a list of prompts that I will have linked in my description if you want to check it out. I am working on five projects at a time and it is a rolling style project pan. So once I meet a goal, I roll something new in. The goals can be whatever you want them to be. I have some finish goals, pan goals, usage goals, etc. So just kind of a laid back way to get use out of my entire collection. And I've really been enjoying this one because I do still have a few eyeshadows in this project, but I'm also working on other products in my collection, which I haven't done in the past. So this is really fun for me. So before we jump into this video, if you would consider subscribing, I would really appreciate it. I am really trying to get to 500 subscribers. I do a lot of eyeshadow content, tutorials, just talking about my eyeshadows, different projects. So if that interests you, definitely subscribe and we can jump into today's update. So the first product I have has been in since the start of this project and I rolled it in for the prompt Divination which is a product you see yourself repurchasing in the future. And for that I rolled in my Neutrogena Radiant Tinted Moisturizer. So my goal with this one was to finish it and I am going to be calling it this update because I think I'm pretty well finished with this product, which is so exciting. I used it six times this past update for a total of 43 uses within this product project. And I had been using this so often beforehand, so you definitely get a lot of uses within this product, which is so nice, and I have actually repurchased this. It took me a really long time to find the replacement for this. They repackaged it a little bit, so I do hope it is the same product and everything. I just really like this. It's not full coverage by any mean, but it just kind of evens out the skin tone, covers up a little bit, and I really enjoy it. I'm not someone who does a full face of makeup every day, so this is nice to just throw on and give a nice base to the face. So I am happy that this one is going to be rolling out. I have been working on it for a while. And yeah, I really enjoy it. And like I said, I have repurchased this one, so I will be able to keep using this. So the next prompt I had was Azkaban, which is a product on the chopping block. And for that, I chose my Wet n Wild Rosé in the Air palette. So the reason this one is on the chopping block is because I have almost hit pan on every shade in this palette. And once I do, I am planning on rolling it out of my collection. So my goal for this one is to hit pan in the final shade in here. So that is shade number six, which is this orange shade over here. As you can see, I have not done that yet, but I did reach for it a total of four uses this past month for eight uses within this project. I am slowly working my way there. I am very determined to get this done before the end of the year. I'm hoping sometime in November I will be able to hit pan on this shade. There is a dip in here and I don't typically find these shades super difficult to hit pan on, but it's just going to take a little bit more usage. Orange eyeshadow is not an absolute favorite of mine, but I definitely love it during the fall, and we are in the fall season, so that is making this easier to reach for, and I'm really happy I rolled it in for this time of year so that I can get some good dedicated use on it. So there is a little dip forming in here and I am really hoping that I will be able to get pan soon. I don't know how much longer it's going to take me. I feel like it's going to take me longer than I would like, but I am still definitely determined to hit pan on this shade. This is a really nice palette. I really wish Wet n Wild was still coming out with this format of palettes because I really enjoyed when they were doing this. 
This is a dupe for Modern Renaissance, which I do have, and that is one of my favorite palettes, so that is why I feel comfortable decluttering this one after I hit this final pan, because I have Modern Renaissance, and I do like that palette better. But this one is still super nice, and it's going to be so satisfying to have pan in all of these shades. This will be the first palette that I've ever done that in, so I am definitely excited about that. Next up we have the Prompt Chocolate Frog, which is a brown product, and for that I rolled in my Wet n Wild Bare It All lipstick. So my goal with this one is to use it five times, and I will be honest, I did not reach for it at all this past month, so I'm still only sitting at one use on this, but this is what it looks like. It's super pretty, super wearable. I just don't really reach for lip products all that often, so this one is getting a little bit neglected. So I still have four more uses on this, which definitely doesn't seem like a lot, but having not used it at all this past month, I feel like it's going to take me a little bit of time, but hopefully I will be able to hit that usage soon and be able to roll this one out. Alright, next up we have the Prompt Dumbledore, which is the oldest product in your collection. And for that, I went with my L'Oreal Luminous Serum Tint. So this one isn't necessarily the oldest one in my collection, but I have repurchased this. And this was one of the first makeup products I was ever reaching for. I use it as a sort of primer. It just gives a nice little glow to the skin, and I really, really enjoy it. And I knew I was very close to finishing this one, so I did set the goal to finish it. And I am happy to say that I have completed that. It only took me six more uses to finish this one off. And I honestly wasn't expecting that. I thought there was more in here when I rolled it in than there was. But I am very happy that I have now finished this. This is a, project, a product that I wouldn't mind repurchasing. I just haven't yet because I have other products that... I can use. This one is one of my favorites to use as primer, but quite honestly, I don't reach for primer all that often, so I haven't repurchased it quite yet, but I'm sure I will in the future if I want to. Alright, then the final prompt I have rolled in is Felix Felicis, and this is a product you think you can pan or finish. So... For that, I rolled in my Hot Topic Winnie the Pooh Halloween palette. I thought this was going to be the perfect time of year to reach for this palette, so I rolled in the shade Piglet, and I am trying to hit pan on it. I have not done so yet. I only have three uses on this within this project so far. I really kind of feel like there might have been more that I just didn't track, but that's all I have written down for tracked usage. There is a little bit of a dip forming in here. I hope you can see that. This is a super easy shade to use for every day. It's a really nice lid shade, so I know I will be able to get my use on it. And, of course, during this time of year is when I really enjoy reaching for this palette. It's a, such a fun Halloween-themed palette, and I think it's super cute. So I am definitely going to continue working on this one and hopefully get pan soon. I don't know how deep these are going to be. I can't imagine they're going to be super deep, but I, of course, haven't hit pan on any of them yet, so I am just going to have to wait and see, but I am slowly working my way towards getting a pan in the shade. All right, so we have two rollouts for this update, which is super exciting. I'm rolling out both of my finished goals, which honestly feels so good. Those were kind of a little intimidating, a little daunting, so I'm really happy to be rolling those out and I get to roll in a couple new products. All right, I have my wheel here and we are just going to roll in two. So first up we have Bellatrix, which is a wild or out there product. Then we have Ron Weasley, which is a product you would recommend to a friend. So I'm going to go find some products for this, so I will be right back. Alright, I'm back with my selections, and I think I'm pretty happy with what I chose. So the first prompt I rolled in was Bellatrix, and that is a wild or out there product. And this is 
completely a personal preference. So for me, I do not reach for blush a lot as I have mentioned in a lot of other videos. So I did go with a blush that definitely intimidates me and is a little bit out there for my personal preference. So I'm going to be rolling in my I Heart Revolution Tangled palette and I'm going to be rolling in one of the blushes from here. So I think I'm just going to fully commit and go for this bright pink down here. That's called Live Your Dream. I am definitely intimidated by this one and I am really hoping I will be able to kind of sheer it out a little bit and make it wearable for me. Like I said, I do not wear blush all that often. If I do, I am reaching for very, very light everyday shades. So this is out of my comfort zone for sure, and I am excited about it, nervous about it, but my goal is going to be to use this one five times. I don't want to set a super big goal with this one, but I do want to push myself a little bit with it. So that is going to be my roll in for Bellatrix. Then the other prompt that rolled in was Ron, and that is a product you would recommend to a friend. And I'm going to be rolling in another face product, and that is my Macabre Cosmetics Ghost Highlighter. I have been absolutely loving this highlighter and would highly recommend it, especially if you love high impact, high shine highlighters. It is just so, so pretty. So my goal with this one is going to be to use it 10 times. I think that is going to be a good number for me. It's, I think, the highest usage I've done for a roll-in for this project. So I'm definitely excited. I've been reaching for it quite a bit. And I especially love the ghost theme for this time of year. So I am aiming for 10 uses with this one. And I am super excited about that. Alright, so these are the five products I'm going to be working on for this next update. I am super excited about this. I have a couple usage goals, a couple pan goals, so I feel like we're pretty evenly split with goals, and I'm hoping I will be able to have maybe a rollout or two next update. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm definitely excited to get some use on these products and see what we can do. So let me know what you guys thought of this update, what you think of this project, what do you think I will be able to complete by next update. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future uploads. And with all of that said, I will see you in my next video. Bye!